Hello and welcome to Bakewell Builds. Um, I'm Holly and not going to lie, this is like the third, fourth, possibly fifth time that I have done this voice over for this video. I was contemplating not even doing it at all because it was frustrating me. I just, I was running out of things to say. I'm a very talkative person and I don't understand how I wasn't able to think of things in my head. Anyway, today we're doing a modern barn conversion. So I'm starting off with two barns, very, very simple, very simple structures. I wanted to go for that rustic kind of feel, like a, kind of, like a traditional kind of barn. Didn't want to change the exterior. I mean, obviously I've had to imagine that I've got these barns that were there before. Um, so I'm choosing um, exterior materials that I think will make it look rustic took me ages it does it takes me ages to find things I'm happy with and a lot of the time you'll find throughout this speed build that I, I tend to take ages to do something like further on you'll see that I'll take ages to do the stairs I couldn't work out how to have it but once you do once I'm happy with it I'm happy with it and it tends to stay <laughs> so that's a good thing now I think I'm finally happy with the exterior, I've got wood and I've got brick going on there, I think I'm happy with that. Um, but then I decide that I need to change the length of the barns, I was like doesn't quite look right having barns that are the exact same size, so I kind of started changing that round and even though it looks like I've finished I end up changing it round continuously through, throughout. Um, Originally I was thinking this is going to be quite a challenge in ways because I tend to, when I do a build, I do the exterior, you know, do the architectural elements of the, of the build, um, even, but then when I do the interior I, I'm still able to then change the exterior still if there's something I'm not happy with, but when you've got a barn it's literally that's it and then the goal of this video um, of this build was to then go in the ex interior because you're converting it into a home that was once a barn you know you're going to have to change the interior change the layout I mean there's not much layout to a barn anyway but you know make a layout I guess you could say um, so I thought that would be more challenging but actually not really because a barn is literally just you know it's a big rectangle so it's not that challenging I've definitely done builds before though where I've only done, I've built a house, got a stick with that exterior and I can't change those walls and then I've got to do a layout um, inside. I mean that's something I can definitely do again because they are quite interesting videos. You have to be quite, you know, you have to, there's a lot of thought process that goes into the layout. So right now I'm, I've built the middle section that's going to join the two barns together. This is like the modern, contemporary part of the build. Um, originally as well, I was going to keep, like put like old windows, like, well, not old windows, but like, you know, um, windows that would suit the, suit the barn part of the build. But in the end, I kind of just went with modern windows all the way through, even with like the door, I couldn't decide what door to have. But I do in the end go with modern, I think. Well, that's in the first part anyway, I'm pretty sure I do. So with the middle part as well, I've done um, glass roof. So I've done a middle bit glass and then I've also done like a conservatory kind of thing. I've done, so that whole back area is gonna be glass. I don't think I put the windows in yet, but you'll see that in a bit. Uh, I'm just doing the, what do you call that, porch? <laughs> Um, colour wise I think I'm just going with this dark brown, I've obviously got the greys and the whites, it's very modern, that's kind of why I wanted to use those colours on the barn, because of those colours can go throughout. This is me choosing the door because I literally could not choose a door to save my life. I don't actually have all the packages, I only have, I'm pretty sure I only have like seasons get together. I recently got Island Living though to be fair. I only get them when they're on offer, when they're like 50% off. 
And I know all these gamers and these YouTubers out there, you know, they've got all the packs, they've got everything, but I just, I just don't because it's so expensive, isn't it? So expensive. Um, <laughs> but hopefully I will get more. I only, as I say, I only get them more whilst they're on offer. I'm pretty sure they're on offer at the moment because obviously everyone's stuck indoors. Um, I'm pretty sure they put Sims, like the actual game, on offer. I'm pretty sure, I mean, that's quite cheap anyway, at the moment anyway. So, the, as you can tell, I'm putting in the windows. Um, big glass windows. This, this is quite a common thing that you see with barn conversions or any kind of conversion like this. They always have like these big windows, don't they? But, you know, that's what I wanted as well. Kind of. Don't know what I'm doing there. What am I doing there? Don't know. Tell you what I really want in Sims though is to have windows that like go right up to the um, the roof so they can be like triangle because you find a lot of so, so many modern builds nowadays have windows that like go with the roof. Do you know what I mean? I might insert a picture because you might not know what I mean. <laughs> My description isn't very good. But in the end I go with this and to be honest I'm not overly happy with it at this current moment in time. I feel like I might end up changing it in part two. I guess you'll have to stick and wait around. Um, I didn't actually tell you though, to be fair, this is gonna be a part series. I mean, it probably says part one in the title, so I guess that might give it away. <laughs> but um, yeah, so obviously this is gonna take me quite a while. It's quite a big build. So I thought I would do a part series, I guess, of this modern barn conversion might call it modern double barn modern modern double barn figure that one out oh, i put in the windows in the conservatory bit um i could have made the glass like could have made them bigger but i wanted to use the island living um like sliding doors so i ended up just doing it at that height i mean why not i also use those island living sliding doors on the like balconies as well because I was like yeah you can make that blend I wasn't happy with the the doors I had as I've said before I, I think I I, mm, I don't know whether I keep that I probably will go back to that I'm not gonna lie so we're actually going inside finally I randomly placed some season um, windows in the build and I was like actually I can't really place them yet until I do the interior because I don't know the layout so Yes, I am now going in with some beams, I guess, to be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> doing the interior, usually you just play around for a little bit, get a feel for what kind of things you, you know, what room's going to be what. So I decided that obviously I was going to have a little hallway, so as soon as you walk in you have a hallway. Um, I wanted this to be a conservatory area. I thought because it's a, a barn, a barn conversion, <laughs> that bringing in some beams would be a good idea. So I've gone with like the same colour as the exterior to bring that in. As if the two barns are connected because obviously with this middle modern part. Um, I'm also just going in quickly with, I, I like to do this with pr pretty much any build. Just colour all the walls like it's like a fresh slate I guess. What am I doing? I bet this is me thinking. Me thinking, what am I going to be doing? What am I putting where? Okay, so this, I'm finally starting. This is the stairs. Trust me, the stairs took me forever. I'm quite fussy as well. Like, I, it has to be double stairs. I don't know if anyone else is like this. So basically, I guess it's because it's quite a big build anyway, you would need a double... You need a, <laughs> that was a mouthful. You would need double stairs because well it looks more modern doesn't it but literally with any build i always use double stairs because i think they look more normal i think the single ones they just look they just don't look right i just i just have a thing about it i just have a thing so my plans for this side of the build so the left barn i guess you could call it is to have it's going to be two floors, but the second floor is going to be overlooking the first floor. If that makes sense. You know like when they have like the balconies and you kind of look down at the, 
usually like a living room area or a kitchen or whatever. It's quite a common thing to have in a barn conversion, so I thought I might as well do it because, you know, <laughs> it's quite, you know, a well-known thing, so I thought I might as well do that. Um, yes, this does take me quite a while, so I might come back to you, leave you with some ch ch, -ch tunes um, because it does take me ages and I faff around with it for ages. Um, so I'll see you in a little while.
I'm back! <laughs> Hope you didn't miss my voice too much. I know it's lovely to listen to. <laughs> so I'm pretty much done with the stairs, I think I am. On the left side anyway. Um, and also, I've left you to watch me do the stairs and the layout for upstairs. So obviously there's a third floor. So on the on the second floor I was like god this isn't going to be enough room for a bedroom or so I had to make it bigger of course made the barn bigger but then the, the, the barn on the right is much smaller so didn't really matter that much I said I wouldn't be changing the exterior but I still have I still have <laughs> so this is obviously I had to do a pretend fireplace or a, a pretend chimney so that my double stairs could fit upstairs could fit to the next um, floor again I'm fussy with my stairs and there was no other way that it would fit so I was just like I'm just gonna have to extend the wall um, placing a bed there because that is gonna be a bedroom it's quite a big bedroom now which is just how I wanted it to be I'm imagining that it's gonna be quite a luxurious um, you know modern build so I mean I, that's usually what you see barn conversions are like anyway you know they tend to be very open planned that's why I've done them quite you know big um, big tall walls big tall walls just tall walls I guess <laughs> why did I say it like that I don't know um then I had a bit of a um, genius idea at this point to continue the beams going through so I don't know whether that's what I did I say what I went with yeah it is um, I kind of wanted it to be in line with the windows, but then I actually didn't mind the fact that the it was kind of a little bit off, but it still was, you know, symmetrical still. So I did that times three, um, and then that joins, it's kind of like the middle bit then, and that joins to the middle bit, if that made any sense whatsoever. Again, I'm still kind of fiddling with this area, This, but eventually I am happy with it, and I'm really glad that I did that, because I think it adds an extra touch to it I also added in the floors um, on the bottom floor um, so I've gone with that dark wood again to like continue that throughout the build um, it kind of you know links it to that barn kind of feel um, but it's still modern like if you put it with I'm thinking of just putting with whites and greys throughout um, I've just placed those sofas I'm not going to use those sofas probably not but I've just placed them just so in my head I'm like yep yeah, that is going to be a living room area um, so what I'm thinking is that will be a living room area but it won't have a TV and then I'll have another area that will have a TV you know <laughs> you, you find that with modern builds you know or like larger builds that they have like two living rooms one with a TV and one without so that's why I was doing that. As you can tell now, I've copied the beams from the other side to this side because I thought, again, that would be great touch. And I've also decided that the stairs would go this, like the opposite way but would still be in line. I'm literally going back and forth trying to, you know, match it up, make it so they are both the same. I'm just colouring some wards now. I don't, I think, yeah, so I had the idea to, like, continue that brick um on that like beam bit so on those walls <laughs> if that makes sense that didn't make any sense but you know what i mean um and then i've also continued it there but i have a feeling like that might change i wasn't too sure on that actually um and i also did it on like the main walls so on the on like the middle bit i've kind of extended it through there as well so now this is the the other side of the barn doing the stairs of course actually this didn't take me very long because I was like yep yeah, that's fine that will do um, it was quite good really that it worked like that because it was much easier not having it because this side wasn't going to be um, wasn't going to have a balcony looking over it so it was quite simple to do that really um, and then I was like okay layout you know what's gonna be what I'm not fully sure how many bedrooms this barn conversion will end up having I mean I, as I say I want quite big rooms so I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be like four maybe and then when I was at the point that I realized 
even though I have three floors and I realised there isn't that many much space for um, bedrooms, I was like, okay, maybe I need a basement. I don't really know what my thought process with with this is because I'm fully aware that you don't really tend to have um, basements with barns. But then I was like, um, you might do. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know, and I, I'm sorry. Okay, but. In the end, it kind of looks alright. I didn't do the obviously didn't do the whole area. I only did a small area, and I, maybe it's only going to be two bedrooms extra. But I haven't even done bedrooms yet. That's going to be in part two. So make sure you watch the next episode. Um, I think I finally found a door, though, guys. Finally find a door. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to go with these. I kind of hate that you have to have blue on one side. But I was just like, let's just have them both facing into the hallway. It doesn't matter. I think there is some lovely doors out there. Lovely, <laughs> lovely doors in the other packs and stuff. But as I say, I don't have it all. But hopefully I will eventually. Um, so I was thinking, left side is stairs down to the basement. And then the right side is going to be a closet, as you can tell I've done there. And I thought that was a quite a nice layout, really. And then I've got double doors going into that um, conservatory area which I think is literally just going to be like another living room area um, maybe a dining room I think yeah I placed a TV there because like that's where the TV that's where the, the TV living room is going to be um, and then I started placing these windows and I think I, I think I will end up using those windows going with the modern all the way through just making it all match really because I kind of think I don't know I wanted to use like an older kind of looking windows but it just didn't look right and I just nah just nah <laughs> so this area currently is gonna be the kitchen now again this took me ages and in part two I struggled for ages at the start because I just haven't got a clue what I was doing really I was thinking this was gonna be a pantry pantry like at or laundry area even both shall we say at the back and then it's going to be a big open kitchen. I wasn't really sure in terms of um, what style to go with in the kitchen. Um, I wanted to go obviously modern and I was kind of like I really want to use the, the um, island living countertops again. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with them at the moment because I've been so used to just having as you can tell like all the rest of the countertops that I have. I just don't I'm so used to using the other ones, I was like, I really just want to use these. Um, and of course, of course, you have to have uh, an island. Of course, you have to. Um, and I was, yeah, I just went with this white and grey. I think it was looked quite nice with the, with the wood flooring as well. I will continue with the kitchen in the second part of this series. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. Obviously, I don't expect this to have many views at all. But if you are watching and you even got to the end of the video, thank you. Um, please like. It will mean so much. And also subscribe. I have so much more to bring to you. So many more builds. This is kind of like a portfolio for me. Um, I'm starting uni in September. Um, doing interior design. I was told that it was a, a good thing to kind of make a profile for yourself, you know, you know, make a Pinterest, make an Instagram, uh, make a YouTube channel to kind of show what work you can do now and just think hopefully in a few years time, you know, I'm going to be working on big projects, fingers crossed. Um, so I guess in a way this is kind of going to be like a journey, I guess. So hopefully you will join this journey with me, as cringy as it is, I know. But hopefully you've liked the build so far and you will come back for part two. Um, again, please like, comment and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye.